hello my seekers welcome back welcome back to the channel it always a blessing to have you back here today's reading is for Aries Aries it is your day to shine so please go ahead and shine your beautiful self like the diamond that you know you truly are now please make a note though if the reading does not resonate to your present situation please don't get hurt offended or in your feelings it simply means that the reading today is not for you, but if you come back another day, I just might have one just for you. Also, I do have an Aries playlist down in my description, so go ahead and check it out and see if the, one of those resonate to your situation, okay? Now, if it is your first time here and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, feel free to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you will know. You will always be the first to know whenever I upload brand new content. Also, please give the videos a thumbs up because when you thumbs up the videos, YouTube will see that you love the videos and they will push the videos out into a much wider audience and the channel and that particular video will grow, all right? And we want to grow here. Now, before I get started with my reading, I always have to pray first, asking the Lord to just send his most powerful angels to take charge over the reading and just to give me the right words. And the messages that they want me to share with you, the seekers, the ones that need to know. So let's get started. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you guide myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send down your most powerful, mightiest of angels to take charge over this reading. To give me, using my body, my body as a vessel, okay? Giving me the right words and the messages that you want me to share with the seekers, only for the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I give you all the honor and all the praises. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, Aries, so this is a general. Um, Please take it as it resonates to you. If you have to put one, two, and three together, that means this reading is not for you, all right? Now, know that it could be a change in your situation, your relationship. It could be past, present, or future. It could be whatever the angel wants you to know. Maybe a switch of a direction path with your career, money, and all that other stuff, all right? Now, I'm going to ask the angels to guide me to show me what they want you to know. And then I'll also ask the angel in my second deck of cards to just give me some direction of which you might need to know because some of you might need some clarity. So, we're just going to ask the angels to do that, okay, on, on your behalf. So, angels, just get to work. Let's get to work on Aries' behalf. Now, is there anything specific that you want Aries to know? Is there anything specific that you might want Aries to know with their situation? Is there anything specific that you might want Aries to know? Please and thank you. angels i appreciate that okay for your first card um the angels are saying there that uneasy okay uneasy truths and arguments and discord ahead dwelling on past hurt and block grief okay um i see for some of you um your relationship right now as it is there's a lot of argument that is going on. People are not agreeing. People are fussing for no reason. It's like things of the past is dwelling. Dwelling um, in your relationship and it's causing hurt and it is blocked. It's also blocked grief is what the angels are saying. No one is having no kind of closure. No one is trying to find a place to just say, you know what? Um, let's try to fix this issue that is going on with us. It's just bumping head. This everybody just bumping head. This is bumping heads, and the problem is like not going away because everyone wants to win here. I have a feeling like with this situation, everyone, no one wants to say, okay, this might be my fault. This might be your fault. Let's try to resolve this and let's try to make amends. Let, let things work. Everyone wants to be the winner. Here's what I'm feeling. The angels are saying, I don't know what to say after this situation. Happy left. Okay. But I really want to start over. Okay. Because people are just bumping heads and 
Two people is arguing. No one is listening. There's no communication is going on here with this relationship right now. And the situation is um, taken away. It's happy. Okay. But someone is saying, but I really want to start over. Someone wants to start over from this because the relationship is kind of going through something right now where people is just not communicating. The communication right here with this particular relationship is starting to go left. It's taking a toll for the left, for the worse, actually. The angels are also saying here, you've always tried to put family first. Now they should put you in first place. I feel for some of you, maybe family has something to do with what is going on with your relationship. They're either trying to help you to save your relationship or they're, they're a part of why you're arguing with your partner, okay? Um, the angels are saying it's time that you put the, yourself first. For some of you, you might put your family before your relationship. I mean, family is family. But sometimes after you make that big leap, for some of you, you might be married. Uh, the Bible says once you marry, okay, you have to put that person first, okay? Your your part, your person comes first once you take the leap of marriage, a sacred step, all right? Now, the angels are also saying here, someone is trying to call you and you're just not ready to talk. So I see for some of you, you've been having some really issues with your person as far as like I said, the communication is broken. But for some of you, your person might have kind of walked away a little bit. If they have not totally walked away, they're about to walk away or they're thinking about walking away because someone is not trying to pick up the phone, okay? I see for some of you, your person is calling and you're looking at the phone like, should I answer it? Because you don't want an argument because I see like whenever you try to talk to your person, there's an argument that comes up. For some of you, your person feels better to call you and to talk to you instead of talking to you in person. That's what I'm feeling here. Now, the angels are also saying here, okay? Soon all you have ever wanted will be given to you. They said that there's some things that you have been really wanting in your life for completement and you feel like you're, you have not achieved those things. Um, You feel like Maybe you're not put the effort in, or some of you, you might feel like you have been putting the effort in, but it has not happened. The angels are saying, no, it's going to happen. But you just have to be um, dedicated to it and stay focused. Because right now, with, with the issues that you're having with your relationship, it is causing you to lose focus on your career path, okay? The angels are also saying here that you need to know that the feelings you're feeling is worth exploring, all right? Romance is all around you. For some of you, you might be thinking about doing something, going somewhere, ch making some changes as far as your relationship situation is concerned. The angels are saying the feelings that you're feeling is worth exploring. So if you need to work on sever your relationship, the angels are saying that it's worth trying to save your relationship, okay? It is worth trying to save it. So if you're thinking about doing something, this is the time to go ahead and do it. Okay, they also want you to know when things begin to look good for you, sometimes your panic button is activated. Sometimes for some of you, your person shows you love and affection and right away something triggers your mind and say, I wonder what my person is up to right now. Is there something that um, they might have done Why they've been so extra sweet? The angels are saying that it's your past who's black, blocking your happy. Okay, don't think negative like that all the time. Just try to embrace what is coming to you because it did say, all right, just um, soon all you have ever wanted will be given to you and you have to be patient, okay? They're saying that you have to be patient here. Now, they also said here that true love cannot be denied. This is the romance of a lifetime. So your person, if you were Wondering for some of you if your person do love you, if your person care any at all, the angels are saying that yes, your person does love you, all right, and they do care. For some of you, I see your your person is very romantic, very romantic, all right, and they love to come and hold you and touch you a lot of time, but you tend to like push them away 
And that is because your panic button is activated. When romance come your way, when your person seems to be very affectionate, your panic button is activated is what the angels are saying here. Okay? They say that your panic button is activated. And sometimes you tend to, like, not trust your person um, the way that you're supposed to. Maybe some, some of you, your person might have given you reason to doubt them in the past. But for right now, I really don't see where your person is up to any sneaky anything. Nothing did come up in your car for some of you who are thinking that something is going on right now. I don't see anything that is going on fishy. It's just that you guys have to learn to communicate with each other, okay? The communication has been broken down because maybe uh, whatever it is that you are arguing about, I think maybe there is um, people that you might be pulling into your relationship, right? And once you divide those people and separate those people from your relationship issues, things will definitely get better is what I'm feeling here, okay? So, angels, is there anything else that you need me to share with Aries? Is there anything else that you need me to share with Aries? Please and thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, the angels are saying here, okay, um, the, your friendship card came up here, okay? They're saying here clearly, um, right now is a time where you have to start your relationship all over again by being friends. I see for some of you, you started at, as friends with your, with your person, okay? You have to find that place again to rekindle your love all over again, all right? You have to start afresh, a brand new, a brand new start. And I feel that is why this card came up here that says that the feeling, your feeling is worth exploring. Romance is all around you, okay? It is time to take that um, trip that you always wanted to do, all right? The angels did say that. Um, you have to find that place to reconnect again with your person, okay? Because it is going to save your relationship for sure. The angels are saying hope, okay? You have to hope. You have hope. Because some of you, I see where you kind of lost faith. Um, what is going on right now in present in your present situation. You kind of lost hope. Not only with your relationship, but also with your finances as well. Alright? It's like you have lost hope, but you cannot lose hope. Because it's going to bring a damper into your relationship and is your relationship is going to be filled with nothing but confusion and more arguments and discord that will, will lie ahead in your dwelling and that will have you feeling hurt and you're going to be block dreamed. Okay. You don't need that in your life because it's just going to stress you out more than anything else. Now, just please know that the angels are saying that you have to receive joy. Okay. Just receive joy and love. But know that these things will come with challenges, challenges in your life. Your relationship is not always going to be sweet, sugar and spice and everything nice every day. All right. Your relationship will be tested. All right. But know that you have to have strong, have hope and just believe that with God, all things are possible. Okay. This relationship is worth fighting for is what the angels are saying here. But just stand strong and believe and love and believe in a joy. The beauty of love surrounds you, okay? But your, this relationship here is definitely going to be one of them kind of relationship that will be tested with a lot of challenges in it. A lot of challenges. But the angels are saying though, all right? There's something that you've been asking yourself and, and, and just kind of fighting within yourself. But the angels are saying that you know already know the answer to that one particular issue that has been bothering you. And I feel for some of you, that particular issue is also a part of what is going on with your present relationship. They're saying that your intuition tells you already. You already know the answer. You don't need to go and seek anywhere to find that, that answer out because you already know the answer for that that you seek is what is coming up in my spirit here. They say you already know. 
You already know the answer for that, okay? The angels are also saying here, you have to believe in your dreams, all right? For some of you, you dream that you're in a, a certain place and, 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 and things are happening around you. But you have to believe in your dreams, okay? Believe in your dreams because your, your dreams is what is going to help to guide you through difficult times. For some of you, you have a very strong spirit. You have a, a spirit, a discerning spirit is what it is. You kind of feel when things is not going right before they actually happen. Your intuition is telling you what it is that you already know, okay? Believe in your dream. Believe in your goals. Believe in your relationship. Believe in true love. Believe in the power of God. All things is going to be added to you, but you have to believe and you have to have hope to know that all things are possible if you only believe in the power and the goodness of Jesus, okay? And so, Aries, I hope that this reading did resonate. I hope that it did find you some kind of a closure. Don't forget to pray because prayer works all the time. It moves a mountain of things. And don't forget, always remember to seek first and you will always find.